Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Walt's How To's and Reviews. Today I'm going to cover how to wash your car in less than 20 minutes, giving it a clean, professional look. That includes everything washing, drying, waxing, setting up, cleaning up in less than 20 minutes. So let me explain why I decided to make this video. I went and bought this used Tesla from Tesla and the guy at Tesla said don't take it through an automatic car wash because it's going to scratch the paint and we don't recommend it. And I almost laughed like you got to be kidding me I've taken all my cars through that and they look great. So I got home started doing some research and there's two different kinds of automatic car washes the touchless kind and in my opinion they don't do a very good job and don't make your car look good and then the kind where um, things actually touch your car and they claim it scratches the paint. So I went and looked at my wife's black BMW, which I take through all the time, and to my surprise, the paint was scratched everywhere, at least the clear coat, and I was kind of shocked and surprised. Now to be fair, it's a car, guys. If you take three steps back, you don't notice it, and for a used vehicle, I'm not gonna waste my time doing it by hand, but when I looked at the paint on this Tesla, I couldn't find any scratches. Whoever had it before me took great care of it, and I just kind of felt bad taking it through an automatic car wash, so I'm like, all right, I'll do this by hand. So I did some research, and I literally got upset and angry, because people are taking like over an hour to wash their car, and ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm like, I, I can't spend an hour washing my car, that's ridiculous. It'd almost be worth it just to take it through automatic car wash and suffer the scratches. And thinking there's got to be a better way. So through my hours of research, I came up with my own way of doing it that I think is the most efficient. So when I'm covering the products that I'm going to use, they're not because they're the best product. They're all, I'm using them all because they're the most efficient product when it comes to washing, waxing, and drying your car. So let me explain something. This would be, quote unquote, a maintenance wash. The first time you wash your car, you gotta get it really, really clean. So when you put a wax on there to protect it, um, you don't cover up dirt and stuff. So luckily for me, my car was super clean, so I didn't have to spend a lot of time on that first um, initial washing, but that was just a lucky situation for me. So let me get a, go ahead and explain the steps and the products that I'm using and why I'm using them and why they're all based around efficiency. So this first step here, you're seeing you need a power washer. The biggest reason is you wanna get off as much stuff as you can without touching the car so that you don't scratch the car. When you take it through an automatic car wash, a dirty car goes before you, it gets dirt into the microfibers that are gonna to touch your car, then you go through and that dirt scratches your car by rubbing it. That's the whole reason why you don't wanna go through an automatic car wash if you're concerned about this. So the power washer, you're gonna, you can see me here on the front of my car spending a lot of time getting off all those bugs and stuff. Get off anything you can visually see with your eye without touching the car and a power washer. Don't put too much pressure on it. You don't wanna overdo it, but you wanna get everything off. If you can't, you might wanna take a wet lubricated microfiber towel and just slowly get it off. But if it's clean, it's got a good wax on there. Everything comes off with the power washer for me. That's the first step is rinsing. Second step, you can see me going around spraying this uh, rim and wheel cleaner on my rims um, as well as the wheel wells and you just want to get a good coating on there. Now on your first car wash you're going to have to scrub this in and get all that dirt and dust off. You'll see at the end of the video I use a protectant on the rims just so that I can skip this step and maximize efficiency. The next thing you want to do is get soap all over your car. The easiest most efficient way is to use a foam cannon and a power washer. I use this specific foam cannon and I chose to use this specific um, car wash soap because it has two purposes. It can be used in a foam cannon and it can be used as a shampoo for your car. So I see a lot of people rinse, foam, rinse, then shampoo it with the two bucket method and it's like that's way too many steps, takes way too long. I'm going to combine it in one where I do the foam cannon, lubricate it, and then shampoo it by hand and then rinse and I'm done. Quick and efficient. So now that you have the car lubricated with soap that can be used for shampoo you're going to actually touch the car with mitts now instead of using a two bucket method I just got four mitts now each side of the mitt is a cleaning surface and you can see I put one side on I start at the top start cleaning the car uh, go back and forth not in circular motions and when I get to the dirtiest part of the car which is the bottom that's where I finish and then I flip the mitt around and have a new cleaning surface and start back at the top working my way down get to the bottom when I'm done with that mitt just toss it on the ground because I'm not going to use it again go back to my plastic bag where there's clean mitts grab another one and I use a total of four the next step is you grab your power washer and you get all the soap off. It's best to start at the top, work your way to the bottom, but just make sure you get all the soap off so that your car is wet. So the next step is 
Again, I chose this product not because it's the best, but because it's the most efficient for the maintenance wash. It's uh, this wax, they call it a ceramic wax, but I just call it a spray on wax. Now the first time you use this, it does take longer. Um, you're supposed to spray it on and then wipe it off with a microfiber towel and then rinse again. But the maintenance wash from then on indefinitely, you just, after your car is rinsed and wet, you spray it on while it's wet and then you rinse it again and the water's supposed to activate it, fill in any areas where it wore off and is now thin and gets you another good coat of wax on there. So it's a great product. It does a phenomenal job. It gives it that nice uh, glossy finish and I love it. So after you do that, the next step is you get microfiber towels and you dry your car. So if you spend the money to get a nice big microfiber towel that's made for drying, it makes it a lot quicker. Again, you start at the top of the car and you just rub the towel back and forth and get all the water off your car. I actually use two different uh, microfiber towels uh, to get it completely dry and that's the next step is drying. And then you're going to dry off your rims with another microfiber towel and at the same time you're wiping off anything that your wheel cleaner and power washer didn't get off and because I use this protectant on my rims it all tends to come off with when I actually do rub it with a towel when I'm drying it and it gets it back into a nice pristine look and then I reapply this protectant on there so that dirt and dust doesn't stick to it as much and then when you go to clean it again it comes off really easily when you dry it off with a towel. The last step is just to clean everything up. I like to put all my dirty uh, microfiber towels and mitts straight into the washing machine, turn it on so that you're ready for the next wash. Here is a recap of all the products that I used. So it's all designed around efficiency. The first time you wash your car, you gotta get it really clean. You gotta do the first initial application with this guy. It's gonna take longer than 10 minutes. Now once you're on to the next wash and every wash after that, I'm gonna explain why each of these is efficient, okay? So starting with these, they're efficient because they are both, can be used in a foam cannon and for shampooing your car. So rather than using two products and doing it twice, you're gonna do it all at once. The reason you use a foam cannon is to get soap all over your car super quickly. The reason you use a power washer is it's going to get off when you rinse it a lot of the dirt and stuff and you need a power washer since you have the foam cannon. More efficient than a hose, more efficient than using two products, do it all at once, more efficient at putting on all of the soap. Uh, the second time you use this, most efficient waxing you can possibly do. You just, after you're done uh, washing, it's wet, spray it all on, rinse it off one more time, bam, done with the waxing. The reason you use a protectant is that first time you gotta scrub the wheels, get them nice and clean, you spray on a protectant so the next time you go to wash it, super fast and easy. The reason you're gonna use four mitts instead of two is you eliminate the buckets. You got eight different surfaces to clean, you got some backups in case you run out, I back up uh, microfibers, super efficient, throw them in the wash when you're done, no buckets, none of that nonsense. The main picture that's been on the screen the whole time and sometimes in the background is uh, me washing my car from start to finish. I had to speed it up because you know it takes about 20 minutes and didn't want to waste your time but I just wanted you to see the uncut uh, version of me from start to finish washing. I didn't film the setup process which is just getting the tools out and connecting the power washer and I'm not going to bore you with uh, cleaning up and putting everything away. But it's nice to know if I need to wash my car, I only have to plan out 20 minutes. The other great advantage that spray wax works really good and your car doesn't get that dirty. So you don't have to wash it that much. I need to wash it less than once a month. My car, I was working in my garage putting down some epoxy on the garage floor and couldn't park it inside. So I parked it under some trees and I got a lot of pollen and dust on it. So it was dirtier than normal. But again, it takes no time at all to wash it. It's great. I hope this helps people out and they can uh, take advantage of this method. Please let me know if uh, you have any comments or if I'm doing something wrong down below. And uh, here's the finished product. Uh, I think it looks phenomenal. Again, it's professional wash and wax in less than 20 minutes in my opinion. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.